Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. Okay, new day, new sunny day. Although the temperature plummeted last night into the 40s and we woke up this morning and the house was relatively cold because I still had the AC on. But okay, that's fine. At least it's sunny and it stopped raining. What does that mean? That means I'm now going to go try to take those pictures that I was going to take yesterday. Again, Sony a7R 4 the Sigma 100 to 400. However, I am going to be putting the R4 into APS-C mode which then gives a one and a half times crop factor, which means I'll be getting a 150 to 600. I wanna see what that does. Now, when I was leaving, we have all these lizards that are around our place. I think they're skinks, and the really little ones are, they have like a little bit of blue in them, and then there's big ones, which we call Lizardo. Uh, Ricardo the Lizardo, they're, they're big. I mean, they're like big, thick, brown, and I guess when they go into heat, they get a big, like, they turn almost, not all red, but mostly red, so that they can attract a mate. So right now, I've seen, I've seen like two or three really big ones, and they hang out in two spots by my house. In front, underneath the air conditioning unit, and they poke out, and because they get sun from the morning all the way up through midday, so they sit there in the sun and get get the, you know, they hang out in a sun spot. And then sometimes then they switch back to my patio and they hang out either on the, I have, I have like paving stones that are stacked up because I was gonna redo my patio, but through my back out. So they've been sitting there for two years. So they were sitting on those stones getting the sun or they come right out from underneath the grill. Today, Ricardo the Lazardo was poking out from underneath the air conditioning unit. So I was able to take a bunch of pictures. And whilst I was doing it, it also triggered me to remember to move it to eye animal focus rather than human animal focus. And it immediately zoomed in on the, uh, you know, picked up on the, on the lizard's eye. And I think I got some good pictures. Now I'm gonna go back to the rec center, the woods behind the rec center, and I'm gonna see if I can't get some birds. There's, there's gotta be a damn bird out there somewhere, right? So we'll see what we get. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised at how little water there is out here, given how ferociously it has rained the past, I mean, within this week. I mean, like you can see where the water usually goes up to. And I figured that it would actually be covering this stuff because of how much it rained, but it's all the way out there. Okay, I'm fairly impressed with how much more reach I got with changing it to APS-C mode. But then I also just realized that I'm a dumbass and I brought the tripod with me this time but I left it in the forerunner. I think what I'm gonna do is leave my bag here because this is too freaking heavy. All this damn crunching. In all likelihood, I'm gonna totally sink. Oh, there he is. Okay, Let's see if we can do this. So I'm gonna set this down, right, about, yeah. Okay, so this is actually going really well. This is like a perfect setup. The only problem that I'm even remotely experiencing is the fact that the sun keeps coming out and going behind clouds and stuff. So it's making it a little tough to play with the white balance. This dude's doing like a sidestep. Oh, he's catching a lot of freaking fish here. Just give me one more good. Now, I will say this, definitely have to have a tripod. Even if you keep all planes of the head loose so you can swing and move to find the bird, you gotta have it because it would be too difficult to hold it for so long. But all right, success. And I'm gonna be, well, by the time you see this video, I will have already put a bunch of shots of this crane fishing. And uh, I, I mean, just judging by what I got on the screen, it's gonna look awesome. So yeah, uh, that's another reason why I got the Sony a7R4, simply because of the fact that you can, when you go to APS-C mode, 
still have 26.2 megapixels for your sensor, which of course is more than most 24 megapixel sensors and just about every other camera. Rather than buy an extender, which if then like say I got the two times extender, I would lose two stops of light, which is gonna make it tough when you've already got a slow lens, which this 100 to 400 would be considered a slow lens. I guess the point being is that by using the camera's functions and features and going into APS-C mode and still having 26 megapixels you know, of sensor space, you're not losing any light because all you've done is change the camera setting and now I'm, I'm still getting 150 to 600, but I'm not losing any light. So I think that the pictures today will be very telling and I will be very excited. And I also will then justify in my head that this 100 to 400 in the APS-C mode is kick ass. And I need to remember when I'm going birding to just always put it into APS-C mode. That was a success, total success. It would have been nice if I'd have been able to do this yesterday, but okay, I did it today. And again, a total success. So yay to Sony for this amazing A7R4. Yay to Sigma for this amazing 100 to 400 lens. And yeah, kick ass. Looking forward to getting out and, and doing more of this. I did check the weather. I think that, that summer around here is, is gonna be here to stay. Now, again, it's a little cold today, but I did check the weather out 10 days and it's gonna be in the 70s and 80s pretty much from yeah, a couple days in from now on for that 10 days. So that means it's probably not gonna be dropping down into the 30s and 40s again, knock on wood. So yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you today. If you have any comments or questions or anything, leave them in the comments down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.